It's time to plan for 2021 and you're wondering if you should buy yourself some patches for your Helix or HX Stomp in preparation for all the music that you're going to make. You know, there's so many offerings out there and you're wondering, should I go with Oshu Tutorials or with Red Shell's MPAC? Let's find out the pros and cons for versus video comparing the two. And as a bonus at the end, I will share my tips on building Red's presets for praise and worship music coming up. Hello and welcome to the video. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Justin and I'm all about worship guitar. On this channel, I provide guitar lessons, tech implementation, and talk about all things related to guitar and worship ministry. Please subscribe and hit that bell notification button so my content reaches to you directly. It will really help me out. If we've met before, welcome back. There are many names out there on YouTube for praise and worship tones, but Worship Tutorials stands out as the go-to resource center for worship guitar. You just have to listen to their numerous demo videos to be convinced that they really do have an ear for that modern PNW sound. But what if you're playing other styles of music? Are worship tutorials patches universally applicable? I think this is where content creators like Red Shell come in. He's a professional touring musician and uses his gear at length, so he definitely is an authority on getting good sounds. And not just on the Helix, but from the real gear that the Helix is based on. So which creator should you buy from? Let's dive in. If you're looking to get these sound as heard on the worship albums, look no further. Brian and Bradford have made these patches to make your guitar fit into the worship band mix like a glove. Their latest creations have single coil and humbucker specific patches, which is very convenient because you don't have to tweak the core amp tone unless you really want to. I really like the way they've dialed in two parts of the signal chain, compression and wet effects. Modern Praise and Worship has a brightness in the compression and a level of wash in the delay and reverb effects that they've nailed so perfectly. It's always a pleasant experience playing a WT patch because it is ready for recording and for live use. So while WT patches are great for Praise and Worship, they're not versatile to do everything. If you're in an ACD cover band, these patches are definitely not going to help you get that Angus Young sound. I also think that because they're dialing in the amps as clean pedal platforms, the differences in the amp tones aren't going to be as discernible. In some cases, the patches sound almost the same, even though they may be different amp models being used. Thank you. 
Listening to Rhett's sounds on his YouTube videos has me convinced he knows what a good sound is. And since he spent time with the real gear that a Helix is modeled after, that tells me that there's going to be a level of authenticity to his tones. Indeed, when scrolling through the presets, which are based on M models, the M sounds are very varied, which is perfect for a recording environment where you might need different M tones to achieve different sonic soundscapes. My favorites are his 100 watt Plexi, the AC15, and Twin Reverb M presets, as they take me back to the days where I played actual specimens from Venue Backline. Red also changes amp and cap parameters with snapshots, which is incredibly powerful because when the amp drive is turned up, you might find that the sound becomes too bottom heavy or brittle. Red compensates for this by dialing in snapshots for clean and overdriven sounds. So while Red's patches are great as starting points, that's what they are, starting points, you still need to do some work to add your own wet effects for the praise and worship tone. His choice of wet effects, and spring reverb in particular, connotes a certain style and era of guitar tones, which may or may not be your thing. As such, his patches tend to sound very dry in relation to what we are used to in modern praise and worship. My verdict? I'll be honest, I have both sets of patches, and so of course my answer is to get both. WT for worship music, and RETS for everything else. But as I'm a working musician who records for both worship and non-worship music, I need the versatility to pull up patches for various sounds. But if I had to choose, here's what I think. If you have no time, I'd go with WT patches. They're dialed in and ready to go, with no major tweaking necessary for the Sunday setlist. If you had more time, I'd go with Rhett's M-Pack because of the sheer variety of M-Tones. I think it's easier to turn Rhett's dry patches into praise and worship patches than it is to tweak praise and worship patches for other styles of music. And this is where the bonus part of the video comes in. If you stayed this far into the video, welcome to the bonus section where I show you what I do to Rhett's presets to make them more suited to praise and worship music. For this section, I am assuming you have Helix Firmware 3.0 and above. You see, 3.0 has a killer feature that allows you to recall favorites. If you like a certain way an effect block is dialed in, you can save it as a favorite and recall it for use when building another patch. This makes dialing in Praise and Worship patches much faster, and now I'll show you how you can do this for free. Step 1. Download the free Worship Tutorials Building Blocks patches. These contain all the dry and wet effects that you'll need to add on to Rhett's patches. Step 2. Save these effects as favorites in your Helix so that you can pull them up when tweaking Rhett's patches. Step 3. Build the delay and reverb effects first and dial it to taste with the specific amp model. A brighter amp might need a darker set of wet effects and vice versa. Step 4. Build the dry effects after sampling how the snapshots sound like from clean to overdriven. Because Red uses snapshots to change amp gain, you may not actually need additional overdrives. This is good news for those of you who want to use the 3.0 poly effects.
there we have it. We've compared WT and Red's patches. Now, what do you think? Whose sounds do you prefer and why? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for me. Thanks for watching this video. Please feel free to share it with someone whom you know is deciding to buy patches from content creators like Goshoot Tutorials and Red Shell. If you've liked what you've seen, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification button. Until next time, this is Justin signing off.